Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications for each time I upload a new video. I usually post on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but sometimes I'll stick a bonus in there for you. And also give it a thumbs up if you like it and share please share because it gets my stuff out there and more people can see it. So I would really, really appreciate that. It really, really helps my channel. So thank you for all of you who are already sharing. I know some of you already are sharing, but thank you. All right, so look what I'm making today. I know you can tell what this is, a pizza box. So it was actually inspired by the new stamps that we have, Supremely Awesome. I've already used it once before. But I really thought of a pizza when I thought of these tri triangle boxes. You can use these for so many different things. They're so easy to make. And this would be great for a pizza party, a birthday party that's pizza themed. Anything like that would be really cute. What did I put in this? All right, I'm going to show you. But you may not see it. I'll show you. These are the Little Combos Pizza Snacks. So I just put those in there. These are the ones that I'm talking about right here. And I thought it'd be really cute, but you can put anything in here. Candy, little um, treats, gifts, little small gift party favors, anything like that would be super cute. I think it, at five below, I've seen like gummy pizza things. So you can even use that, but it's been a while since I've been there. My grandson used to love to go there, but he's growing up now and yeah. I sure do miss those days. <laughs> but anyway, so this is what I'm sharing today. So let's get started with this. First thing I'm gonna do is stamp what we need for this. So I am going to stamp the sentiment and the little pizza. The stamp set is this supremely awesome. That's what I was talking. I used this little guy before. I, my first idea was to put him on this box, but then I thought, why not make a pizza? So that's what I did, and I'm using this little pizza, and you're supremely awesome. Sorry if you're hearing a lot of thunder. We have had so much rain, y'all. And then I'm using the scalloped contours, and I am using this one. And I already ran my crumb cake through it with that, and this is going to be for the top of the crust. And... I think that's everything, y'all. All the measurements for this are going to be in the inspiration sheet on my blog at stampingwithamore.com. You can download it and print it. All right, let's stamp. So I'm going to use Memento Black for this. Let's stamp the little pizza on here. This set is so cute, and I think a lot of people have really missed this in the catalog or going through the catalog because... It is so cute, and it's so cute for so many different things. Let's see if I can center this. There you are. I'm going to cut this small here because I need to fit it on the box. So you want it small. And let's put this away and let's color these little pizza. It's going to be super quick and easy. So I'm using crumb cake for the crust. This is so, so quick. So I'm using the light first, and I'm just going to do a little bit of shading with the dark. And then we're just going to do that. And then we are going to use Lemon Lolly, and this is the cardstock color I'm using for the cheese on my little box as well. And then I'm using this one, which is, I forgot what I used, light granny apple green. We're just gonna do these little pieces on this pizza, because this is a supreme pizza. Oh, let's do right there. And then we are going to color with Calypso Coral. We are going to color the pepperoni here. Just like that. And then I'm just going to take the, this is light cherry cobbler. I use this instead of the real red because 
it's a little bit darker and I'm just going to go around the edge of our pepperoni it's just to give it that darker outside color of the pepperoni and there you go it's so cute you do have to fussy cut this but it's super simple I'm surprised my little puppy girl <laughs> she's not a puppy she's 12 years old but she hates thunder and oh my gosh she usually cries and barks uh, I feel so sorry for her we try to comfort her as much as possible but it's really hard I'm gonna trim this a little bit smaller here there we go that piece was one half inch it'll be all in the inspiration sheet all right, so for the box itself, I am using copper clay. I love this color, um, but it kind of reminds me of an old color we used to have, and I can't think of it, the name of it. All right, and then for the cheese, you're going to use a piece four and a quarter by four and a half, a piece of Calypso coral for our pepperoni, and this piece was one by five and a half. All right, so let's punch out. I'm using a one inch circle punch. We're gonna make some pepperoni here. I just cut four, punch out four. We don't have the one inch, but I'll put one in the description where you can get one. I know those are that's a pretty popular size. All right, so on this one, what we're gonna do is you are gonna measure, make sure you have the four and a quarter inch side going up. You're going to mark it at two and an eighth, just at the top here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to mark this for you. I didn't mark it, I just cut up, but I'm going to mark it so you can see what I'm doing here. So this is how we're going to get our little cheese. And then you're just, you're just going to cut up here. cutting right inside that line because I don't want to have to erase the line now all right so there's our piece of cheese let's make our box here so I'm going to use my trimmer here and all you're going to do here is on the 10 inch side is score it at five so you're scoring it in half you can make these all different kinds of sizes y'all but I wanted it to look like a piece of pizza so that's why I made it the size that I did all right, so on the top here, we're going to, this is five, so we're going to mark it at two and a half. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. And then you are going to just score from that mark to the corner here, down to that one you just made, the center one this one and then you're going to turn it and do the exact same thing it might be a little bit hard for you to see um, on this color but so you're just creating a triangle all right I'm going to grab my bone folder and we are going to fold these These are so easy. These would make perfect party favors because they're so easy and you can even get your kids to help with that. I'm going to use my Velcro dots. I have these linked in the description below because I had a hard time finding them. These are going to go on the very corners. And then... These other fuzzy ones are gonna, I just put right on top and then I can close it. And then you're gonna just close that there. You're gonna press it and then close this one. You can stick your finger in there and press it. If you don't like this little tiny opening here, you can close it with a ribbon, twine, anything like that. 
So there we have our box. Let's put our piece of cheese on there, which will fit just like that. And use some wet glue. And then I'm going to use this piece for our crust right here that I made. I'm just putting it on the center part because I'm going to end up cutting this. So just line it up there. And you can flip it over and just trim this. And there's our little crust for our pizza. Now let's make our little pepperoni. So what I did with this, I used real red on this one. You can use cherry cobbler or the real red. And I also used this little um, sponge dauber. And you're going to go all the way around. I think this one's a Tim Holtz that I have right here. I can mark that in the description, put that in the description too, because you can go around with a regular sponge dauber, but I'll show you what I'm going to do with this too. And it really gives it a cute pepperoni look. So then I just take it and I just pounce on this, all of these. And it gives us that little texture on the top that you need to make it look like a little pepperoni. It's so cute, y'all. And then I'm just going to kind of manipulate these a little bit with my fingers so they don't look so small and just round. All right, let's glue these on. So I'm going to put one up here. Let's see. I'm going to do one down here. And scoot that over a little bit. Put this one on here like that. And then this one I'm going to cut in half. And we'll put a couple half pieces on there. Put one over here. I'll move this one over even more, y'all. And then this one's going to go right here. That's why I like using the wet glue. You can kind of scoot it in a different spot. All right, so there you go. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, I love this little box. I think it's so cute. I think it's gonna be great for like a picnic or something like that with your family. Especially, this really conveys my Italian heritage. <laughs> All right, so let's put our sentiment on here. I'm using dimensionals for that. And then I'm going to put one more dimensional on our little piece of pizza here. And that's going to go up at the top, just like that. So there you have it. It is done. I hope you enjoy this one. It's really a fun one. It's really cute. And you can use it for just about anything. Here's the other one that I made. And yeah, I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.